Hi, welcome to my first video where I try and answer common questions about Power Apps, Power Automate, and all things SharePoint. In this video, I'm going to address common Office 365 user questions that I've come across in the forums or just general questions that I've received at work. The things I am going to demonstrate um, really just show you the formulas. They're not they're not that complicated. I'll show you the formulas for populating your combo boxes with the 365 users. So on the screen I have a combo box in my first column, which I'm showing all of my 365 users. I have a combo box in my second, which I'm filtering. And then I have a drop down in my third, which I'm using a collection to grab the 365 users. First things first, you want to make sure that you have your Office 365 users as a data source in your Power App. This is just a blank Power App um, made from scratch. As far as what they provide out of the box, Power Apps has a screen, um, a people screen, which I have showing here that you can use pretty much the same as as your drop down um, or your combo box so you can search for users and they'll pop up depending. The only reason that you may not want to use this is you may not it may not fit your use case. You may want to have that drop down in a form or um, depending on who's filling out the form, what department they're part of, you only want them to see a certain amount of people. You can filter this too. Um, I've filtered this gallery via account enabled being true. So if your user account is not enabled, then it's going to show false. All of the users in my 365 users are active enabled, so they're all going to show. Back to our combo boxes. When you make your combo box, this in the items, you're going to have your Office 365 users, you're going to have your search user, your search term, combo box one search text, and you're gonna have it show display names. So this search text is going to need to be turned on via allow searching. And then I don't have allow multiple selection turned on, but you can if you need to select multiple names. The same goes for this one as well. I don't need multiple selection, but I wanna allow searching. If you turn off allow searching, it, it's just a drop down. But if I have it turned on, then I can type, um, I can search. Okay. For this combo box, I just have Officer 65 user search user doing display name. For this one, I have applied filters. So I have the same Officer 65 users, search user, search term, but the filters I've applied are account enabled true, which I showed you on the other screen, and department equals administration. So the users that department equals administration are here, but if I wanted to change that to say sales, then I would get a different set of users depending what department they're in. For the dropdown that is feeding off of my collection users, I have on visible of my screen a for all, which for alls do not work that well on large data sets. Um, I'm not using a large data set, so I'm just using a for all in this case. I have for all, my Office 365 users, search user, and I'm using a new statement um, that the 365 user needs to have their email at eaglemarineseafood.com. You can filter by, via any email you want, the ending of it. Um, I'm using this one. All of my users are in that, using that email, but I'm just showing you what's possible. And if that's true, then I want to collect those users into my collect call users, and I want to collect them via display name. What I did with this example was I have two text box 
on this page, labels, and the labels are showing a concatenation of a concatenation of the user's city, and then I also have one for the user's department. So depending on what user you select, you're going to see their department and or their city. So um, it's useful. This user, me, doesn't have either one of those filled in, so there's not going to be any data. But if you pick a user that has that, then you can see their data populated. And that, that's actually useful if you want to fill, if you want to pre-populate a form or auto-populate a form. And you can auto-populate forms um, using get user and use it into a variable and then use that user's information as well. I'm just showing the Office 365 users, um, search users, what you can do with that, that you can filter, you can put it into a collection, you can use it for your drop downs. Um, really short video, but I just thought that it might be helpful to some people who are looking for how to do this and don't want to read through the forums or um, necessarily not all of these things are in one place. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you then you may find that other videos I make can help you as well. I'll see you around.